Hey everybody, it's Christine with Scrapping with Christine, and today I have a couple ideas for you on how to use the new sermon notes stamps from SRM Stickers. I've got an idea for adults or older teens, and then I've also got an idea for uh, kids that we, you can create. So I'm going to start off with adults, and I am using a traveler's notebook to capture the adult pages because I feel like that's a perfect size where your thoughts aren't too much. You can kind of compress them a little bit, but they also... It also has still enough room for you to do it and a little room for you to play and decorate it. Um, so I started off by adding on the sermon notes stamp up top there. And then I also added on the key verse stamp. And then I pulled out the Amen Frames stamp set, which has some really pretty frames on it and pink ink also to stamp those frames with. I didn't want to add too much color before I actually do my writing, but I did want to add at least one color. And so pink was the one I decided to go with. And I am just stamping those frames. And then I'm going to add in the words read, digest, and learn. And those are all three words that are in the stamp set. The read one I really like because it's a good spot then to be able to write down what the pastor talked about and what you want to read more on. Like maybe he talks about a whole chapter, but he didn't necessarily read the whole chapter or he references back to a story or something. Good spot to be able to write down those things. And then learn and digest, kind of similar, but like digest, I feel like maybe that's more for like the things that you have to wrestle with a little bit and think about. And the learn is things like a reminder, maybe, at least in my mind, I think these are all going to mean a little different to everybody. But so there you can see I filled in, I did my prep work ahead of time, and then I filled it in on Sunday morning. And then now comes the fun part of decorating it. And so... I had already started with pink, and so I pulled out these butterflies from a project pad from Paperhouse Productions, and I picked out which ones I wanted to use on the page, and I had left quite a bit of room at the bottom of my notebook, so I knew that I could add one big butterfly on there, and it wouldn't be too much of a distraction from everything else. And I am just using these really cool Bible background stamps to add a little bit of... Uh, texture, I guess, interest to those those butterflies. They already have a marble coloring going on, but I wanted some black in there and I wanted a pattern. And so this was a great way to achieve that. So I used the same cross Bible background on all of them. And then I'm just adding those onto my page. Now it's still pretty white, you can see. And yeah, that would be fine. But part of the fun of Bible journaling is not only are you reflecting on God's word, but you get to play. And so I am going to use some mixed media now and add color to it. And you can see I've already gotten started. I'm just using a purple brush marker, also from SRM stickers. And then I'm using some pink um, Dilutions ink. And I'm adding those onto some packaging. And so I colored all over it with the blue or the purple brush marker. And then I dropped a few little splatters of the Dilutions ink and I am just smearing it together on my packaging and then I'm just going to plop it right on there and add some extra color. So really simple technique um, and a great way to control exactly where it goes versus spraying straight onto it with a mist or splattering straight onto it with a mist. You have a little more control here. Now the second idea is for your kids. I have a couple of kids that are old enough to be keeping track of what's happening during the sermon. Not extensively, but a little bit. And so I'm making this little mini book for one of them. This one's for my 10 year old. And so first I just stamped on their sermon notes. And what I'm going to encourage there is that they just add the title of the sermon something to think about. Then I am decorating it a little bit because I want them to also be able to color on this as they're doing their journaling because I feel like that helps them almost keep attention um, when they don't have to just be sitting there strictly taking notes but they can add a little color and the colors that come out maybe what they're thinking about is the pastor's talking about and you know just a, just a different way to engage them. So I'm adding on all these different backgrounds and I am using the entire set of the Bible backgrounds to create borders on these and I'm actually going to use them on the top and the bottom. And what I did is I created I, oh, I can't even remember, five or six different pages for her. So we have several prepped and then we can make more down the road. Um, and again, I'm not looking for her to take any kind of extensive notes. I think that's asking a lot for a little girl, but 
I do want her to be able to catch like, hey, that's, oh, that's the main point of this sermon. That's the title. Okay. And here's the main verses from this sermon. And so I'm just giving her a little space to capture her thoughts and contain them and keep them all together. So as you can see, I worked in each almost every one of the Bible backgrounds. And then I'm going to add on to it um, the key verse, and I'm going to add that for every single page. And then I'm also going to add on the word aha, because I feel like that is a fun one for kids. I'm also going to add on read on some of them. So it's going to kind of change back and forth which ones I added on. Um, but gives them a spot to, again, you know, capture their own thoughts on the sermon. And then as you can see on this one, and I'm not going to go through every single one of them, but on this one, I'm adding in a circle frame. I'm just adding in stuff basically that can give them a little space to color and doodle and be creative. And so here, like this one, I had aha on. So I'm adding in a little light bulb icon and that comes in the sermon notes stamp set as well. And then I'm going to make her a little cover for her book and I just add on sermon notes there. And then again, I'm going to pull out this circle frame and just stamp all over the place. Again, allowing her a place to doodle, to color. She could color it all at once if she wants. She could color a little bit each week, um, whatever her heart desires. Uh, just a, again, a little added thing to engage her while she's trying to listen. So here's the final product. There's the cover and then here's all the different little sheets that I made. And as you can see, using those Bible backgrounds and the sermon note stamps, I was able to come up with a good variety. So she'll have a little bit of a different thing to look at each week. And it was fun. I, I'm actually really pleased with how they turned out. So here's what she colored for the cover. And then here's her first week of doing the notes. So thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to check out these awesome stamps.